What are you doing? I'm filling up this saw for with water to make jelly jam. What are you doing now, Jamie? I am making jelly jam. First, I'm going to pick the jelly. How do you do that? First, you have to find the top and do and do this. Okay. What do you do with the pit? And then the pit gets the seeds out. So when you put the seeds in, but you put the the tailies right. in the ball. Okay. Keep it going. Only two quarts left. So what are those? So here we have two quarts of cherries. They're all pitted. Now we need to chop them up. And then once they're chopped up, they along with the sugar. Uh, go into this big pan here. So the recipe says, um, for a single recipe, it says six and a quarter cups of sugar. There's about one pound of sugar in every two cups. Uh, we're doing a double batch, so we'll need 12 and a half cups or six, six or so pounds. So we'll, we'll measure it out by the cup. All right, it is boiling. And the... Uh, Recipe next calls for the liquid pectin. Don't look at it if you if you got a wheezy stomach. It's uh, I think I've said in my other videos it does not look visually appealing. So the single recipe calls for two packages of liquid pectin. Um, I did go against advice and double the recipe. They don't recommend you double any of the recipes, but. Um, I do sometimes. I, I usually try to follow canning recipes pretty close, right on the button. But sometimes I don't, and that's a decision you need to make. Um, this is a recipe out of the Blue Book, Ball Blue Book, so they're all well proven and tested. And uh, I'm sure pretty much foolproof if you follow them exactly as they state. So I'm gonna go three pouches of pectin. I don't wanna make it a rubber ball. Raise the heat back up. Get a rolling boil, it says, for about a minute. And then you start jarring it. And on the advice of the recipe and my memory of last time, skim the foam off before you jar it. And you'll have a more visually appealing product. I don't think the foam hurts anything necessarily. It's just, well, it doesn't look real good. It's a light paint, kinda. So we'll get as much foam off as we can. If we can't get it all, we're not gonna worry about it. the jars already in the hot water bath canner. I think what I'll do is nearly drop this spatula in. And um, I think what I'll do is pull the canner forward. I'm trying to burn myself or start a fire. I believe that I will do the canning portion off camera because I don't know how I'm going to do it very easily. I did not think this step through. I suppose that'll do. And the uh, recipe recommends a quarter inch of headspace, which is not much, not much at all, really. That's about a quarter inch. All right. Here 
regular two-piece lid. Put it on nice. And that's, oh, that's visually appealing. Um, so we're just gonna keep on filling the canner up. This uh, recipe says it makes about eight half pints. So I've got, uh, I think I've got seven half pints in my canner, so it fits. No, I've got eight. Eight half pints in here, so we'll see where it goes. So the next step in the directions is to water bath can the sealed jars. And it says do that for 10 minutes. Uh, I think I may have mentioned this before in other videos, but that means 10 minutes after the water begins to boil. So in my case, it was a couple minutes to bring it back up to temp. Um, but we're gonna do that for another eight minutes or so. I did just get the last of it jarred up. Uh, made 13 and a half eight ounce jelly jars. So I'm not gonna try to can this one um, as it's not full. Put a lid on it, put it straight in the uh, refrigerator, eat that first. So uh, once we have that can for a couple more minutes, then the next batch will go in, can for 10 minutes, and then uh, we'll pull, pull them out after they're done canning and let them sit. And uh, that should be all besides clean up for a little bit. So there's the finished product. Uh, cherry jam I ended up with 13 full eight ounce jars and uh, I don't know when we're going back up to Michigan again but hopefully this will last us until we do if it doesn't then uh, we may make a special trip up there I know they grow cherries other places in Michigan but they're really good <laughs> so anyway uh, thanks for watching the video hope you found it useful if uh, leave me a comment question or uh, click the subscribe button in the lower right corner I'd appreciate it